Now before we get started with setting up our switches it's crucial that you have your switches plugged in and set to a mode that will work for your actions that you want to select. Now um, the applicator has a lot of different functions that you can have, a lot of different quick access functions too. For um, the sake of this introduction I'm going to put it on a couple of standard options for you. So um, by all means have a look at the table, work out what you require from it. But for this I'm going to show you that channel 1 is in U. And U is a double function, which I'll go into in more detail in the future, but it's home or enter. And channel 2 we'll put into 3, which is just one of the many num numerical keyboard functions. What this means for the iPad is that we can set it to any basic function that's within the iPad settings. And both of the switches won't um, ignore that action that we select, it'll just take it as a given. So we're connected, we've got two switches, a red one and a yellow one uh, into port 1 and 2. Okay, so now we're set up with our switches plugged in and set in the correct modes, we now need to give actions to our switches. So within the accessibility menu, which I've gone to already, you'll need to select switch control first. In the switch control menu, at this stage don't put switch control on, leave it off for now because we need to configure the switches first. So you click switches, and then you'll see there's no switches connected, so we click add new switch and external. At this point here, this is where you need to activate your switches, they're plugged in, the applicator's on, so you simply press the switch. You can call it whatever you want, but for sake of argument I'll call it red. Now at this stage you get a list of actions, and you've got lots of different options within the iOS menu. We've obviously set it up as home and enter in the mode section, so it would be prudent really to put it as a, a something such as tap or select item, because that's what you would do with your finger. Um, probably most often. So in this in this instance we'll just use that one and then we'll do the yellow one, external and then hit the switch again and this one we'll call yellow and in this menu to, to manual uh, scan and to use it as a manual scanner you need to have it as move to next item. So that's all set up. Now you back out to this menu here you just need to make sure that this section here, scanning style, is on manual. Now if I just click into that quickly, you've got three different options there. And I'm going to go through those in different uh, videos. But for this, just make sure manual scanning is on. And then you can hit switch control. Now, we'll go back to the main screen to show you how this works. Okay, so you'll see the blue rectangle that goes around all your apps and icons on your screen. The yellow one will scan across and move down as appropriate. And then when you want to select within, you press the red button and you can select a menu within. Holding down the red button because it's on U takes you back to home and as you can see once you're in a rectangle you can scan through and if you're in the wrong one it takes you back to this so you can come back out and go across your menus again. It's as simple as that, that's manual scanning. It's very very simple to get used to and probably the most preferred method if you can use two switches.